Hi, I'm author Grace Rolson. Welcome to my video. I help moms who are forced to co-parent with narcissists or stuck in high conflict custody battles maintain their sanity, save their custody cases, and enjoy their child's one and only childhood. So welcome to my work. I have lots of blogs and books on strategies for dealing with a narcissist who's usually a high conflict problem co-parent. And the family courts don't really recognize this, but you can expose a narcissist. And there's also what I like to teach is uh, the gray walling method, my method, and skillful means for creating peace and protection for children. If you're ready to learn, I'm here to teach. I'm an author. You're welcome to come to my website. Learn from my story, all my mistakes. Learn. These are self-help books with some of my true story. I write and speak in a, a pen name. And just the full disclaimer, I'm not a legal professional, lawyer, or uh, any representative of a court or a therapist. So take what you like, leave the rest. This is my survivor wisdom, and I'm happy to share it with you if this can be helpful. Be willing to learn the lesson. You can learn, heal, and outgrow the narcissist and change what you can because you can better some really bad situations uh, by knowing how to respond versus react and learning that typically a narcissist wins by emotionally destabilizing the target. So stay sane, stay emotionally stable with the right support in place, and learn my two methods, gray walling and skillful means. So when it comes down to dealing with a narcissist in a custody battle, you need strategy and multiple strategies happening simultaneously. And sometimes you have to switch strategy, change strategy, implement, adopt a new strategy. So you will need a documentation strategy that's organized. Uh, I have a way I teach moms in my one-to-one -one session how to do this. You'll need a support strategy. It's it's not enough to hold all of it in, vent on social media, tell your best friend and your parents. It real you really need some safe, confidential people to vent to, so you don't burn out your family and friends, and they know narcissistic abuse specifically, or legal abuse, or abuse by proxy. Those support people can be key in helping you stay sane through the narcissist's insanity because there is such thing as crazy making. A narcissist can set out to drive you crazy or point the finger or uh, blame shift onto you and project what he's doing onto you and create a whole bunch of false accusations that drive people crazy with the character assassination. So don't be driven crazy. Get that support strategy. You will need a legal strategy. You'll not, you not only need a defense. But an offense, and a lot of moms don't have that offense going. One of the tips that I give moms is to get a custody agreement that has a lot of details in it because narcissists don't like to follow orders. And if you have him breaking multiple rules because you got a bunch of rules that can go in your favor, if he should file for sole custody out of the blue for whatever reason, and they like to do that, rear their ugly head later and decide they deserve it all. So have an offense strategy, a defense strategy, and a plan, a parenting strategy, which includes probably getting your child a safe, neutral, uh, third-party therapist because they might be in the middle of a war zone with paper bullets flying over their head if you're in a legal battle. So know the child needs support too, and you'll need a communication strategy. You, not, you need to know how to talk to a narcissist and why you don't want to trigger the narcissist and, and have him because they they fight below the belt they they react uh also from triggers they tend to um retaliate and seek revenge so it's not a good strategy unless you know your lawyer says yeah say this in a message and we'll get his fuming response that shows he's just hateful towards you and not willing to co-parent but you know, aside from that, you want to create peace and goodwill. You want to learn to navigate, de-escalate, disarm the narcissist. That takes a long time. And I don't, you know, I have a method of gray walling, which is a bit more than that popular gray rock mething method. There's a lot more involved with gray walling. And it keeps you sane and protects your mind, body, spirit from any attacks. But the key is to have strategies not only to deal with the attacks, but a long-term strategy to stop and prevent the attacks. And I want you to enjoy the peace and order that my child and I, uh, we, we have today from implementing it. 
And so come to my website if you want to read any of my blogs about skillful means and the gray walling method. Some of them are free. Some of them are small fee PDFs. All my uh, books are available on Amazon, but my blogs, there's some really helpful ones about how to lead your lawyer with what you want. There's a 20 want list. It's a powerful tool so that you're not going to your lawyer uh, for therapy or telling them the drama of the narcissist, but rather leading with what you want and need in a court order. There's um, a free newsletter that I have for moms. You're welcome to sign up for my sub stack and get my free tips, tools, and strategies. And just remember, the narcissist does have tricks and tactics and traps for you to step into. But if you're smart, knowledge is power, you won't step into them and you won't be manipulated. So this is my 11 video basics co-parenting video course goes through the mindsets that you'll need to adopt the attitude and the perspective you might need to take to endure it and be resilient and come out of this smarter and stronger than before we have strategies skills and self rules and that's in my first book self seven self rules to stay sane because you gotta um, maintain your focus and hold on to some mantras when you're going through this. We do have the ability to change unlike them. We can endure this, survive, adapt, and navigate. We can love ourselves and our children and we can outgrow the narcissist. But if we're down in the mud and we're getting pulled into the weeds and like they say, if you wrestle with pigs, you both get dirty and the pig likes it. So if you're going back and forth with a tug of war, and you're losing energy, just know the narcissist is fueled by a fight and we're drained. So typically it's a narcissist slash empath issue and we can work on letting go of the rope. So I always recommend getting a lawyer or legal consultations. Knowledge is power and so is preparedness is power. So if you don't have a lawyer yet, I would be interviewing three to five attorneys and using my Get the Right Lawyer Guide to know what questions to ask. So thank you for watching. If you're one of the moms of my private groups, thanks for being a member. I'd like to give tidbits of information and new blogs and PDFs that you can use to help your cases be better. Remember to like and subscribe in the link below. And if you subscribe to this channel, there's always a, a free video or uh, posting on my website. So thank you so much for watching. Pick up any of my books. I encourage you to do them in order one, two, and three. Be open-minded. And remember, hold on to your sanity. Love your child. Lead with love. And be the best mom you can be. Come out of this smarter and stronger than before. Learn what you can and be the change that you want to see. Thanks for watching.